Hi everyone. So let's get right into the reading. Uh, this may or may not be for you. I do channel multiple energy groups on here, so only take it if it resonates. Let's see what the story is for someone out there. Submissive, weak-willed, reconciliation, pride, stubbornness, mental instability. Isolation, loneliness, emptiness. Open and honest communication, message, bear with me. Jealousy, betrayal, conflict. Sadness. Hidden truth. Okay, this is this is a third party reading for sure. Cold guarded distrusting. Okay, I had to pause and just look at the cards for a minute. What I'm feeling from this is I feel like I, I feel like someone went back to an ex or they cheated. So this could be someone that you're with and they might have cheated on you with someone from their past that they still have feelings for. Or this could be a situation where you're on a break from your person or you're just temporarily in separation from your person. And it's like they want to see if the grass is greener on the other side. There's someone from their past that they're not over. There's someone from their past, like an ex, that they're, they still have feelings for. Um... And I think you're going to get the truth, honestly. And, and don't, you know, don't go accusing your person of cheating. This is, if this is for you, you're probably going to know it. I feel like you're going to feel this energy. You know about this person. Like, you know that there's someone from their past that they still have feelings for that they're talking to. Like, you catch your, like, if you guys are dating, it's like you catch them on the phone with this person a lot. Or you catch them, like, constantly texting them. And something just feels off, like your intuition is just telling you something's off. Or if you're in separation from them, if you guys are on a break, it's like you can just feel like there's a third party. You know, this isn't like don't get paranoid and just accuse your your person who is completely loyal of you, loyal to you of uh, cheating. You know, this would be something that there would be signs of it, like you would feel it. You'd probably again, you'd probably get some sort of hints of it, like like they won't. Um, they claim this person is just a friend, but they, you can just kind of tell by the way, like they talk about this person, uh, the history they have with this person. It's like your person's not, if this message is for you, your person's not a very good liar. So it's one of those things where they try to cover it up and say he or she is just a friend or there's nothing going on there. But it's like something just feels really off. Like they're not like they're, they're, they're just their eyes light up when this person texts them. You know what I mean? Or it's like one of those situations where it's like they were like engaged to this person or they have a history with this person. Um, and they're trying to claim it's just always been platonic. It's something really off like that where it's like they're they're full of shit and you can just tell. You know this already. So if you're watching this and this is like a huge shock to you, a surprise, this is probably not your reading. This would just be confirmation. If this is for you, it's just confirmation of what you already know. But what I'm feeling here is I feel like they were testing the waters with this person from, from their past. So again, there's a couple different storylines here. For some, it's like you're with this person right now and they keep texting this person and they keep, you just know something's not right. Or you might be in separation. You guys might not be together, but you can kind of feel like a third party in the mix. And I feel like your person is... Um, they're submissive. They're very weak-willed when it comes to this, this ex of theirs. And I feel like they wanted to test the waters. They wanted to reconcile with this person, to be honest. Like, they wanted to get back together with this person. They wanted to see if there's potential for them to still be together. Like, I hate to say it because if this is for you, I know this is going to hurt you a lot. But I, I am feeling like if this is your story then you were option two to them. You were not the first choice. You were the second choice. Um, 
but so again, use discernment. This is a, this is not for very many of you. This is only for a few people, I think. And you'll know, again, you'll know if this is for you. You would have already been seeing signs of this around you. Um, and you don't want to be second choice. And you could probably tell, like, this person, this person probably uh, doesn't really give you a lot of time and attention. Even if you are together, it's like something just feels kind of off. Something just feels sort of strange with this person. It just feels like they're not fully in it with you. And I think the thing is they're still in love with their ex. You might even be in a rebound relationship, to be honest. This might even be an ex that they, you know, recently broke up with or they had a very long, serious connection with this person because I just see, and it's nothing that you did wrong. It's not like, it's not like they don't have feelings or don't love you, but it's, it's like their heart was already taken. When they got with you, their heart was already taken, I feel. Like, I feel like they've always been in love with this person from their past. And I feel like they're very submissive when it comes to this person. And I feel like they wanted to reconcile with this person. And I think whether they were with you or not, I think that they, you know, like I said, I think they probably did have feelings for you. But I think they were also just not wanting to be alone. They didn't want to feel isolated. And so I feel like they were holding on to you and kind of keeping you on on hold or it's like if they were in a relationship with you it's like they you guys were together but they weren't really fully invested they weren't really focusing on you they weren't giving you enough time and attention and energy because they were still holding out hope from for that this person from their past this ex that they're in love with that they would get back together with them um and so I feel like they've been kind of talking to this person behind your back. But but again, I think you know this already. I think this is just confirmation of what you already know if this is for you. But I feel like they were talking to this person behind their, their behind your back and they were kind of hoping that there would be a reconciliation. It's a really scummy energy because it's like they kind of just wanted, they had feelings for you, yes, but they kind of just wanted to have you there on hold so that they wouldn't have to be alone. So that if it didn't work with this ex from their past, they they still had someone there. You were their second choice, basically. So they wanted to hold on to both, you know, the ex and both you, their second their second choice, and you know, try to try to put that energy into manifesting a reconciliation with with their ex, their first choice. And if that fell through, at least they were still holding on to you, their second choice, so they wouldn't have to be alone. Um and, and, and yeah, I, f I feel like they really were putting the energy into reconciliation. I don't know what their plan was. I guess maybe they thought that if their ex gave them the green light, like if it was a, they wanted to wait and make sure it was a sure deal, like they would definitely get back together with them. And then I think they would have broken up with you or they would have just been done with you or whatever and just gone back to them. You don't want somebody that just uses people like that, though. That's a really scummy energy. It's really manipulative is what I feel here. You don't want someone like that. This person can't handle being alone either. They can't handle themselves. They can't handle their own thoughts. They wanted to play multiple sides. They wanted to, to have their cake and eat it too. The sad thing is, though, I really feel like they were planning on letting you go, honestly. I hate to say it because I know that's probably going to hurt whoever this is for, but I, I, this is what I'm feeling. They were planning on letting you go if this if it was a sure deal with this ex. They wanted to mate, wait and make sure um, they wanted to wait and, ma and make sure it's a it's a for sure thing. I accidentally said they wanted to mate. So maybe some of them like wanted to have sex with their ex for some reason. Like they wanted to see it's like they were trying to have sex, maybe to find out something. I don't know if it was like maybe an STD or something that they were worried about or that someone was worried about. That could be for someone there out there. Uh, maybe just like a specific message for one person. But anyway, they wanted to wait and see what would happen with their ex. They they wanted to test the waters. They wanted to see if, if because it's like they really never got over this ex. There was never a closure with them. Even if it was a toxic relationship, they still saw this person as the love of their life. And I feel like... It's like, I think they did get a chance. I think they were talking to each other behind the scenes, behind your back. I think they did get a chance to test the waters. And I think what happened is it was the same shit as before. I think they pulled away from you and they gave more time and attention and energy to this ex. 
And I think it, you see these two people that like aren't talking. So this, the problems, they kind of romanticize this relationship with their ex. And I think when, when, you know, I don't know if they officially got back together necessarily. I think that they just got to a point where they were talking regularly behind your back. And I feel like, I feel like the problems that they had before, because it's like, like I said, they were romanticizing it. I feel like the problems they had before came right back. The pride, the stubbornness, the arguments, the miscommunication. I'm hearing like, I'm a Gemini, he's a blank or she's a blank. Like someone's, someone's, someone's saying I'm a Gemini, so this won't work. I don't know. <laughs> someone's saying someone's like there's like astrological incompatibility for for these two people as well I feel like um like there's something I, it's really weird I'm just seeing something in their birth charts something in their birth charts just clash like they do not line up but anyway they they ended up repeating the same cycles it's it's the same issues that were there before the same arguments the same miscommunication the same mental instability I feel like your 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 person's ex also has a lot of mental instability. Like your person, the person that your your uh, the person your uh, your person is in love with, I feel like they have a lot of mental like mental illness or mental instability, like anger, like they lash out a lot. Um, I feel like they're very dramatic. They're very manipulative, and I feel like when your person was like romanticizing this, they kind of forgot about this, or they kind of made it seem like it wasn't as bad as it really is. And now that they're getting back on track and they're you know talking again behind your back, they're seeing this person's, they're being reminded of this person's mental illness, mental instability, the drama, the the fights, all the same bullshit that was there before is coming back up. So they're kind of leaving the honeymoon phase that they were in with this person because it's like they were both so excited to be, you know, reconciling, to be, you know, talking again that it's like the rose-colored glasses were on. But now those same issues are coming back up and your person feels isolated and, and lonely and empty. And so there's a warning here that your person is going to try to come crawling back to you, to, to old reliable, basically. You know, this was this was their first choice. This this toxic, manipulative person was their first choice. And again, it's not saying that there's there's nothing wrong with you. It's this person. This person's manipulative. And this person, like I said, was also just already in love with this manipulative person as well when they met you. So you never really had a chance. They, they never gave you a chance. They They never really saw you. If they had really seen you, like they might have fallen in love with you, but they didn't give it a chance because they were just so deeply in love with this this toxic ex of theirs that's that's all they could focus on it's like they just kind of used you as a distraction from that but it's like the whole time i feel like they were really missing their ex they were really wanting their ex back honestly and i mean it's not okay at all but i mean it it does happen and i just want to put that out there so like no one thinks that it's not anything you did wrong it's not it's not, you're not unlovable in any way. You know, you are very lovable, but you, you were in a situation with someone that, that had a blindfold on. They couldn't, they couldn't connect with you. They couldn't connect with anybody because their heart was already taken. So try to understand that it's not really about you. It's not about your connection with them. It's just, it's about what they had with this ex. Even if it was toxic, there was still a lot of love between them. But I think someone's going to tell you you're going to get the truth from someone because this person is feeling, um, what I'm feeling here is this person's feeling very alone with this ex now. Now that, now, now that it's the same cycle, same patterns as before, this person's feeling very alone and they're going to try to come crawling back to you is what I was feeling. And they're going to try to give you some bullshit story and you need to be honest with yourself because you kind of know that you're a rebound in this situation. You kind of already knew that they were still in love with their ex. Like you felt this, you, you felt this, you knew this. So you have to be honest with yourself when they come back around because they're going to try to make it seem like you were their first choice when that's not the case. They're going to try to... um. I just feel like they're going to try to lie or they're going to try to do something manipulative. Like they're going to try to tell you. Um, it's like they would have chosen this person over you and not even given you a second thought. Honestly, I, I hate to say it because it's hurtful, but it's it's true because they were so in love with this person. 
but it's like now that there's this drama with this person, they're seeing it differently. The rose colored glasses are off and they're like, oh, maybe I should give this person that was just a rebound. Maybe I should give this a chance, actually. But I think it's, it's too little too late, you know. Because it's like they want to come back around, but it's, it's like they're, they don't they just don't want to be alone. They don't want to be alone. And it's sad for you because you're an amazing person. The energy I get from you is you're the entire package. And this person never even saw it. This person never gave themselves a chance to see any of that. They they were too blinded by all this. But but yeah, they're going to... Um... Sorry, guys, bear with me because I'm, I'm just channeling here. I'm picking up the energy. Give me a second here. I feel like they're going to downplay it and make it seem like it was really casual, like, oh, my ex was going through something and he or she needed me there, so I just wanted to be there as a friend, or, um, you know, I know my ex is crazy, I know I don't want that back, like, you don't need to worry about it, I, there's nothing going on there, um, you know, I made a mistake. It was just a one-time thing. There was nothing emotional there. It was a one-night stand. But you know the truth. You 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 know the truth. They're just coming, ca crawling back so that they don't have to be alone. You're going to get a message from someone. Open, honest communication message. I almost feel like this third party might even message you. But I don't think she's going to message you in an aggressive way. Um... Because I think she's pissed at him or it could be it could be two women or two men or it could be this could be a man that's pissed at this woman. Take it as it resonates. You know, don't get caught up on gender. It could be any gender here. But yeah, this character, I feel like she's pissed off at him. She's not pissed off at you. She's not blaming you. I think she actually sees you as innocent. She actually kind of feels bad for you where she feels like, you know, you probably didn't even know what was going on. She feels like you didn't deserve this either. Like, I don't think she has negative uh, feelings towards you. I'm not getting that. I'm getting her anger is, is towards him. She might not have even known about you. So he could be in a relationship with you. And maybe he, like, doesn't have it posted on social media or he's, like, he has some bullshit excuse as to why he can't post it on social media or he's super secretive or sec super private about it. Um... Because, okay, so this woman, I feel like, I feel like she is, don't get me wrong, she's a little bit crazy. She's a little bit dramatic, aggressive, but I feel like she's the type of woman that has other women's back. You know what I mean? Like, she'll stick, she'll stick with other women. She'll believe other women. She's, she might even, you know, hate men a little bit. It's kind of the energy I feel. So... Despite all her drama and all her bullshit, I think that she's she's going to be on your side, actually. Because I, I don't think that she knew about you. I think he was lying to both of you. I don't think if you guys were in a relationship and you were just kind of a rebound, I don't I don't think that she knew about you. I think that he managed to keep you hidden from her somehow and she's going to find out and she's going to let you know. Um, or it's like if you guys are on a break, maybe he told her. Like, oh, it's completely like maybe you guys were just taking a break or something like that, but you were still kind of in each other's lives and he's going to go to her and tell her, oh, it's completely over. It was never that serious with her. Like he's it's just it's lies. It's, it's He's going to lie to both of you, basically, is what I'm feeling. She's going to find out somehow, though. She's going to find out, find out about you. She's going to feel bad for her role in it. She's going to um, she's going to feel bad for her role in it. She's going to feel bad. She's going to feel angry at him that he put her in this third party situation against her knowledge. Because I actually feel, again, I feel like she's the type of woman that has another woman's back. So she's not the type, she's not a homewrecker type. She's not the type to uh, to try to steal someone's man or anything like that. It's, it's against her moral code. And so I think she's going to be furious with this man for putting her in that situation against her knowledge. She's going to find out somehow. I think she's, yeah, I think she's going to message you and I think she's going to let you know. Or this could be one of this man's friends, like someone in the social circle, someone, friend, family member. Someone's going to let you know about this third party situation. It is going to cause a lot of sadness. We have sadness, hidden truth, cold, guarded, distrusting. It's it's going to make it. I, I'm sorry giving readings like this. I hate giving sad readings. But again, you already know this and this is just going to be closure for you. Uh, when you get this message or when you find this out.
I feel like he might even have friends that are on your side or he has a family member or someone, someone that he knows. It might not just be her. It might be someone else that he knows too that's actually on your side. And when they find out what he's been doing, when they find out the games he's been playing because he doesn't want to have to be alone, he wants to have multiple options. When, when, they, when someone finds out, they're going to be pissed. This could even be like his mother or someone. This could be like a mother or father that's going to be like, oh, hell no, I did not raise my son to be like that. And they're going to push him to, to apologize to you. Like someone's going to be pissed when they find out that he did this to you. Someone's protective over you. And it might not even just be protective over you. It might also just be they're going to be like, I didn't raise them to do this or I didn't. This is like my best friend or this is a close friend of mine. I don't want to associate with someone who who plays women like this. Like someone, someone's letting you know something here. Yeah, they're going to try to give you some bullshit and you're going to end the cycle with them. You're going to end the cycle. You're going to break free of this. You might even be wrapping up a karmic cycle here because they're going to try to control the situation and they're going to give you some crap about how they were afraid of commitment, I think. How they weren't ready, they were too scared, they weren't over their ex, they weren't this, they weren't that. You're just going to be, you're not going to want to hear it. You're going to be like, it. you weren't afraid of commitment with her. <laughs> you weren't afraid of commitment with her, just with me? I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, they're going to try to sweep you off your, off your feet, but it's manipulative. It's manipulative. There's hidden motives, toxicity. Buying sex seduction. Yeah, waiting for the right right moment to approach. You're gonna be in your glow up though. You're gonna be in your glow up. You're gonna be focused. This is gonna be you right here, focused on yourself, on finances, on career, on manifesting new love. Like, look how attractive she is too. I'm just seeing her. It's like this is like major glow up. Like, look how beautiful she is. Just like her makeup, her hair. It's like she's taking care of herself. This is, I'm just feeling the energy off it. It's like, this is going to be you. And they're going to realize what they had with you when it's too late. You're not going to, by the time they want you, you're not going to want them. Honestly. Because they didn't see this in you before. You are the empress. You are all four queens combined. Or you're the emperor. You're all four kings combined, male or female. You are the entire package. You are... You're everything. You're intelligent. You're intuitive. You're, you know, you're, you're fiery. You're uh, confident. You're, you're brave. You're just, you, you have so much going for you. You have so many things about you that are just very unique and very interesting. And this person was just, like I said, they were blind. They couldn't see any of it because they were so deeply in love with their ex. All they were thinking about is distracting themselves and, you know, not wanting to get attached to anybody again and just how how they can win their ex back without having to be alone in the process. So they didn't see what was right in front of them, but they're going to see it now that it's too late. Now that you've pulled away and you're not even going to want them anymore, you're going to be focused on 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 the people that do want you. You're going to be focused on I think you're going to be focused on yourself and then you're going to manifest love after that. But you're going to be going through this whole glow up and they're going to have to watch. They're going to see it and they're going to want to make a move because they're going to have this epiphany about you. They're going to be like, oh, my God, like, look at this. This is the queen. I didn't know I was dealing with a queen. I thought this was just a rebound. I thought this was just someone to pass the time with or to, you know, have sex with, to have fun with. I had no idea that I was dating a queen, that I had this queen right in front of me. But by that time, like I said, it's like you're you're done. You're you've ended the pattern. You've ended the karmic cycle. You got your closure because of this this situation because of what you found out. It was the final nail in the coffin for you. Uh, they're they're not gonna have access to you. You're gonna have the last laugh here. So anyway, I hope that helps someone. I'm gonna go ahead and put this out. Thank you guys for watching.